what if Goku was born a legendary Super Saiyan? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 5? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and don't forget to click that bell that you'll be the first to know any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball GT. Previously, on What If Goku Was Born a Legendary Super Saiyan, we mentioned that Raditz has become good as he was now part of the Z Fighters. One year has passed since Raditz has arrived and he became allied with Goku. Him, Goku, Gohan and Piccolo train every day to get stronger so that they can prepare themselves for what's going to be coming. After a year has passed, Vegeta and Nappa has now arrived on Earth. Upon their arrival, Goku and Raditz were there to confront them as Nappa went to attack Goku, but Goku went and one shot Nappa to the ground. Raditz told Vegeta that Goku is the legendary Super Saiyan, but because of Vegeta being so stubborn, he did not want to listen to Raditz as he went and he fought Goku, but he got outclassed by Goku in every way. Causing Vegeta to use domestic measures, he went and transformed to his great ape Uzaru form as he went and handled Goku, but from there when Raditz came to help and Vegeta attacked Raditz, Goku got angry and he used his Uzaru Wrath form as he went and overpowered Vegeta's great A form and beat the shit out of him. Vegeta has now accepted defeat by Goku as they all had one plan and that is to go and kill Frieza and stop him as they learned that Frieza is now going to plan a Namek to collect the Dragon Balls to wish for immortality. Find out what happens inside this part. What if Goku was born a legendary Super Saiyan? Part 5 Boma went and gave Vegeta, Piccolo and everyone the Dragon Radar and they began to search for the Dragon Ball. Frieza managed to get 4 while Vegeta got 2 thanks to Piccolo and Gohan. The last one was on Guru's place as Piccolo said he will be the one to get the last one and he flew towards Guru to ask him for the Dragon Ball. While that was happening, Vegeta went and killed Dubora on the way and from there Frieza found out that Vegeta and Nappa are in Namek and they're trying to get the Dragon Balls. He got very angry and from there he went and called the Ginyu Force to kill them. Piccolo met Guru and Guru gave him a power up and also told him to fuse with Nail as he did and once when he fused with Nail, Piccolo got a huge power boost and therefore Guru has given him the Dragon Ball. While that was happening, the Guinea Force has now arrived on Planet Namek as Vegeta sensed and said, this is not good. Frieza knows we are here and therefore he sent his best people, the Guinea Force to fight us. Piccolo's power level came to be at 600,000 after having a power up by Guru and fusing with Nail. While Vegeta in his first form was at 550,000. Piccolo decided to go and confront Frieza while Vegeta and Nappa hold off the Ginyu Force. The Ginyu Force came to fight them as they started to attack Vegeta, Nappa and Gohan while Piccolo went straight to Frieza's spaceship to confront him and take his Dragon Balls. Out of nowhere, a spaceship has arrived on Planet Namek and it was Goku and Raditz. After training inside 100 times normal gravity, with 5 time recovery from a sensor beam since their training took a huge toll on them and caused them to almost die, they got 5 Zenkai boosts making Raditz power level come to be at 120,000. As for Goku, he went and trained and continued training harder as his gravity machine went from 100 to 700 normal times gravity with 5 Zenkai boosts and since Goku is the legendary Super Saiyan, his power level increased a lot compared to regular Saiyans, making his power level be at 2,550,000. Once they arrived, Goku and Raditz went towards Gohan as they saw that the Ginyu Force was almost about to kill them. Goku got there and gave Gohan a sensor beam as Raditz went and killed 
Captain Ginyu by himself, and from there he beat all the Ginyu forces. Being completely surprised and shocked by Raditz's power, Vegeta could not believe just how powerful Raditz has got, and from there Raditz went and gave Vegeta and Nappa a sense of being. Gohan told Goku about Guru as he told Goku that Guru has the ability to unlock people's potential. Goku didn't agree with Gohan to go and visit Guru so he can get Goku's potential unlocked. While that was happening, everyone went towards Frieza's spaceship to confront him since Piccolo was already there. Once when Goku and Gohan got to Guru's place, Guru saw just how pure of a heart Goku is and he told Goku about his potential and therefore he went and unlocked Goku's potential but it was only half since he couldn't unlock the full potential. Goku's power level came to be at 4 million. Goku was now able to use the Ozaru Wrath form anytime at will. As Guru told Goku the password for the Dragon Balls and asked Dende to accompany Goku and summon the Dragon Balls so they can get their wish and ask Goku to please beat Frieza and end him once and for all. Goku flew right back towards Frieza's spaceship as Raditz, Nappa, Vegeta made their way and saw that Piccolo was already there. Frieza came out and he saw Raditz, Nappa, Vegeta and Piccolo standing there waiting to fight him. Frieza noticed that they killed the Ginyu Force as he got very mad but Piccolo came and decked Frieza hard in the face and started to fight with him. Frieza's parallel was first at 500,000 but when he saw that Piccolo was overpowering him, he then went and transformed to his second form making him be at 1,250,000. Frieza then went and decked Piccolo very hard as Raditz, Nappa, Vegeta went to attack Frieza as a group. They all decided to work together as a team and hit Frieza non-stop causing Frieza to get very mad and upset at the fact that there's so much Saiyans and said there's too much monkeys crawling around it's time for me to educate them as Frieza went and he transformed straight to his final form making his power level suppress B at 4 million. Being overwhelmed by Frieza's power Raditz, Nappa, Piccolo and Vegeta got very scared since they never fought something this strong before in their entire life. Vegeta got very scared to the point he started to have tears of fear. Frieza saw Raditz and went to attack him but before Frieza can hit Raditz, Goku has appeared to the battlefield as he kicked Frieza in the face. Frieza saw him and said, just who is this guy? So I take it you're Frieza, the one who's responsible for the terror that's happening on this planet and you're the one that killed all the Saiyan race. Well the proof is in the pudding wouldn't you say? And just who the hell are you? I guess you're a monkey just like them. <laughs> I was just about to make grind meat out of them. I don't care what you think you are but on the behalf of everyone that you hurt all the Saiyans you killed especially on behalf of my parents I will finish you off. As Frieza and Goku battle began, both of their power clashed with one another as they were going head to head. Goku went and kicked him very hard as Frieza went and punched him in the face. Their battle got even more intense as Frieza decided to go and kick it up a notch and said to Goku, you really are the strongest fighter I've ever fought, no doubt. But I have to tell you something Saiyan, I have another form. I'm only using 10% of my power. <laughs> Frieza you fool! Kakra isn't no ordinary Saiyan, he's a legendary Super Saiyan! And today we will witness your demise! As Frieza got angry and he went and used 50% of his power, making his power level come to be at 30 million. Seeing Frieza add his 50% power, he then went right in front of Goku and caught him off guard as he punched him in the face and he started to beat the crap out of him. Goku was overwhelmed by how powerful Frieza was and he said, wow I have to admit you're very strong, you really are actually the strongest fighter I've ever fought Frieza, but don't think I'm done, it's time for me to show you what I'm made of. making his power level come to be at 40 million. 
Goku went and decked Frieza very hard and he started to beat the shit out of him as everyone was watching and was amazed by Goku. Goku went and headbutted Frieza very hard as he couldn't touch Goku and from there he went and powered up a full power Kamehameha wave and threw it at Frieza. Frieza tried to catch it but it was too much for him as he couldn't disperse the attack and he got hit head on by the blast. Frieza fell to the ground and from there they could not sense his power level. Once when the smoke cleared they saw that Frieza was gone and they pronounced him dead. Being completely shocked and surprised that Goku was able to kill Frieza, Vegeta couldn't comprehend what he was seeing as he was first in shock then he came right towards Goku with joy and congratulated him and said damn Kakura you did it I can't believe it Frieza's dead. Gohan and Raditz ran towards Goku and hugged him as they were very scared and happy to see that Goku has managed to go and kill Frieza. Kakura you dog you did it. I cannot be more impressed my brother. You see that loser Frieza. He is the legendary super saiyan. Piccolo came and shook Goku's hand and said you're unbelievable Goku. Just each time I think I could get to your level you always prove me wrong my friend. <laughs> well I'm sorry to break it to you. Piccolo but now you know who's the strongest in earth <laughs> as they all laugh and they're all celebrating that Goku has finished Frieza. Then they came to Goku and said Goku you did it let me heal your wounds as Goku got a Zenkai boost from his heal. Now Goku I believe you have a wish that you want to use for the Dragon Balls right? Yes that's right as Goku looked at Raditz and they both smiled. Goku went and gathered the Dragon Balls and from there Dende has summoned Parunga. I am the Dragon Parunga. You have summoned me. Now speak your three wishes and I shall grant any three wishes you make. Uh, I wish for my parents Bardock and Gine to be alive again. Very well. I can do that but this wish will require two wishes since I could only wish that one person from the dead per wishes. Very well, please do so. And also for my last wish, bring them back to this planet. Hmm, very well, I have now wished that Bardock and Gine and now they'll be arriving in this planet right now. I have fulfilled my duty, I will see you again, farewell. Once when Perunga left, Bardock and Gine were standing right there as they were very confused and Gine said, Bardock, are we live again? We're actually alive. I think so Gine. What the? How we come back to alive? Last time I remember, Frieza the bastard tried to kill us. As Bardock and Gine looked towards their right and they saw Kakarot and Raditz standing there and they start to tear up with emotion as as Bardock said, oh, my boys, Gine that's them, Bardock that's our child. As Bardock and Gine ran and they hugged Goku and Raditz and they start to cry. Raditz told him that Kakarot was the one to bring them back as he was the one that killed Frieza. Hearing that got them so amazed and proud of Goku. Goku showed his parents Gohan as they went and hugged him. I never forgot your message dad. Kakarot, you don't know how happy I am to see you again my son, even you Raditz. As Bardock started to cry and he hugged him and told Kakarot I'm so glad son you remember my message. I just couldn't believe this day will come true and all of us are reunited once again. While everyone was having a sad reunion, out of nowhere. A finger beam came right towards Goku as Piccolo came and pushed him out of the way and got hit by the beam. When Goku saw he got very upset and he looked it was Frieza as Frieza was very angry. What? Frieza! How did you survive my attack? I thought I killed you! Bardock saw Frieza again as he remembered Frieza killed him and the rest of the Saiyan race and he got very angry and said Frieza! You moron! You will die! Hmm. It's time for you to die! As Frieza went and threw another finger beam at Goku, Baradis came right in front and he got hit by the attack. 
Goku begged Frieza not to kill Raditz as he said to take him instead, but Frieza laughed and took Raditz to the air and said, this time you won't survive, and he killed Raditz right in front of Goku's face. Goku was so shocked and speechless as he couldn't comprehend how to react. Raditz's final words to Goku was, escape my brother, as he died right in front of Goku's face. Bardock saw that and got very emotional as he got so angry and he powered up an attack to kill Frieza, but he saw Kakra was overreacting. I won't let you get away with this! <laughs> What is this new transformation that Goku has taken on? Could this be the legendary Super Saiyan that everyone kept telling Goku about? Whatever it is, will this new power be enough to kill Frieza once and for all? Find out what happens inside the next episode. Make sure you click the bell so you'll be the first to know when What If Goku Was Born A Legendary Super Saiyan Part 6 comes out.